Hey, what's going on guys? This is Sebody. So today we're doing a video which I, is a follow-up to a video I made about a month ago, which is how to increase your FPS in Rust. It got 15,000 views, which is a lot. Thank you very much for them views. And uh, it got a few negative comments because people thought I wasn't really helping very much. So this time I'm going to elaborate on what I said and hopefully help people with uh, lesser PCs and how to improve, increase your FPS. Alright, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to boot up Rust. This is a big thing that I didn't really show last time, which is a, it's a simple thing, but quite a lot of people don't know this. You just click on play, play Rust. Alright. So when we get to this screen here, you see screen resolution right there. If you're on lower end PC, I would recommend going down to 1280 by 768, which is a nice resolution. It won't make your game look too bad. And put your um, your graphical settings down to simple, and you'll see. So I'm just logging into the server now. So here we are. Thank fuck for that. Take the piss. Alright, so as you can see, the game don't look too bad on this resolution to be fair. And with the settings it's not too bad. It's basically what I showed you before in my previous video. So if I just press F2, you can see in the corner right there, I'm on 100 FPS. If you saw my video before, I was getting around 60, 70 FPS after I did my graphics tweaks. So, um, yeah, as you know, with the resolution, it improves your FPS quite a lot. So um, I'm going to cut forward to the next bit, and I'm going to show you, if you've already done your resolution settings, how to improve your FPS in other ways. NVIDIA users only if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card. So basically, what you want to do is download GeForce Experience if you haven't got it already. It's compatible with graphics card up to four years old, I think it is. So it, you don't need anything special. And it, um, if you just click on it now, I'll show you. It's got quite a few uh, interesting features which can help you out quite a lot. Alright. So first of all, what you see come up straight away is drivers. Always check for updates, which is a little tab just there, as you can see. Hovering my mouth cursor over it. So what you want to do is always check for updates, because updates will increase your FPS a lot. Because it uses software, like the newest software, and quite a lot of the games, like especially Rust, when new things come out, it's going to utilize the new software so always make sure that you check for updates another thing I wouldn't recommend and a lot of people do is uh, game boosters such as Razer Game Booster see with Razer Game Booster it's quite a hit and miss like um, I used, as I said uh, I have an AMD laptop and this AMD laptop is quite low spec so I used to do everything so I could boost my FPS on it and um, quite a lot of the time it would increase my FPS but in games like Rust and I think it was Daisy standalone yeah, I know it's in early access, just like Rust, but it, it destroyed my FPS completely compared to actually playing. I lost about 10 to 12 FPS in it, so I wouldn't recommend using it for games like Rust and DayZ. Alright, so let's jump to the next part for AMD users. Alright, so now it's time for the AMD side of things. So first of all, what you want to do is right-click on your desktop background. And then you should come up with a little option that says Graphics Properties. You want to left-click on that and wait for the stupid menu to load up. And then what you want to do is scroll down... To an option that says gaming you click on gaming performance then you click on to standard 3d settings high performance graphics then you'll come up with a little slider to the left it will say performance to the right it will say quality make sure you slide that puppy all the way over to performance then go back to gaming go to your standard 3d settings for your power saving graphics and do exactly the same thing if like me you have an AMD A10 A6 A4 with a graphics card as well Make sure you click on AMD Radeon Dual Graphics because this comes out of a menu. 
it says enable AMD radio on dual graphics that should already be enabled as soon as you get your laptop out of the box but what you want to do is enable dual graphics for applications that have no associated application profile because quite a lot AMD don't recognize games that aren't AAA blockbusters so Rust and early access game it doesn't enable the dual graphics for so you're only getting one of the either integrated graphics or you're getting your graphics card so make sure you enable that so that's the end of the video guys I hope you enjoyed it I didn't leave too many hard things to do these are all pretty simple things to do so you can just improve your FPS quick this is not made for people that are computer hardware software geniuses this is just for people average average people that have got a laptop and want to play Rust um, if you would like to see me do an AMD desktop one I've got an R9280X so I can pull that out and put it in my rig so that I can show you some tips and tricks for that um, like, comment, subscribe and all that shit. Peace. <laughs>